next video. In today's video, it'll be continuation number four of the installation of the cupboards in the front end of the trailer. However, today is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to build another cupboard inside of the current cupboard that we're building that will hold two 220 amp Renogy batteries that will be able to slide in and out of the cupboard. In order to do that, I had to develop a system that allowed the trays to be slidden in, in and out of that cupboard, keeping in mind each battery weighs 128 pounds. That's a lot of weight. So what I ended up using were bolts like this one here, very inexpensive, can be purchased at any local hardware. I then took a washer, again, very inexpensive, and put the washer on the bolt. Again, very inexpensive. These are bearings that come from a skateboard, and I bought them, I think they came like five or six in a pack from Amazon. And these would go there. Another washer would go here, and this washer rides on the inside of this bearing. And then I took a nut, screwed that nut on, which then allows this bearing to continue to move. And then the tray rides on top of these bearings. And you're going to see that during the upcoming video. I really hope that you'll take the time to subscribe to our little YouTube channel as we really need and appreciate your support. You can do that by simply hitting that notification bell so that you'll know when our next YouTube video is coming out. Or you can go to the address that you see below, which you should see right about now, scroll down and hit subscribe on our website. With that being said, let's get started. So before I get started, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, this cupboard that's going to sit inside of the other one. So I built this out of just three pieces of three quarter inch pieces of plywood and four uh, two by twos. There's two on the top and then these two on the bottom. So when constructing it, you'll notice that the yellow arrows, uh, that's the portion where I had to cut it because the front of the trailer is concave and the wood had to follow the path and curvature of that front wall. The other part, I was able to remain flat because it, it actually slid into that cupboard far enough so that I didn't have to worry about uh, trying to make that curved any more than what it was. It was sufficient with just the way it was. So the two red arrows are the, uh, just denote the two by twos that I used on the bottom. So to secure that two by two, I actually flipped this upside down, countersuck about four screws on the back portion where the yellow arrows are because the wood was too thin as I got over to that right hand side to put any screws in. So I put in about four screws on the back portion and then I put in about five screws I think uh, where that red arrow is on the front portion. So the red arrows going along the bottom that's where I countersunk the uh, four screws and then screwed the, the two by two in from the bottom of the uh, bottom portion of this particular little cabinet that's going to sit inside of the other one. And then I put a screw over on the left hand side I then ran several screws uh, along the bottom portion of the three-quarter inch piece of plywood into the other three-quarter inch piece of plywood and then another screw to the front end of the 2x2 two two, and I did the same thing over on the right hand side of this cabinet. Well, I had a little extra time so I came down today and as you can see here when I initially did these and then I went through and I tightened them all up. You know, the bolts didn't go in deep enough. So the heads of these didn't sink down in far enough so that I could refill over top of those. So what I've done is I've taken and I've just very carefully 
seeing how I don't have a drill press, just gone in here and kind of, and again that gave me a much uh, smoother on the inside. I went kind of slow, did these pretty slow, and uh, much better than what these here are. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and redo all of these on both sides and then tighten the screws back up so I end up with a nice little square like these are to hold the bolt so that when I put in my bearings on the other side uh, they'll tighten up real nicely. Alright, <clears throat> so I went through each one of these and you can see now they're, the holes themselves are much more uniform and inside it's much flatter so once you get this drill bit inside of this hole and it goes all the way through, I mean, to this outer edge here, then you can just let that, uh, you know, let the drill kind of run, kind of half speed or so, and really smooths out that inside. So I don't have like it kind of raised on one side and lower a little bit on the other side. Because when you do that, when you put the bolts through here, you know, again, it makes them kind of uh, cattywankas there a little bit, right? So you, they're going to be kind of bent up or down a little bit. Now they'll be much straighter. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do is take these and put them through here. Which now you can see uh, they're kind of below here, right? So I'll be able to fill this in, especially once I tighten that up a little bit like I did the other time. And when I'm done, you'll see uh, these, rather than being round, will be squared because, get this back out here, this part here will be uh, indented into that wood. And that's what holds that when you go to screw in the bolt on the other side. So that will actually be into the wood and hold it. And then you can put on the bearing and we can put on the washer and then we can put on the nut. But I'll show you how all that works out. Okay, so <clears throat> I just tightened up this first one. So all I did was take, put on a washer here, put on a nut, and then tightened it up. And you can see now just how, how the depth of that is inside of there now. So that's in there quite a ways. So it'll be easy now to go ahead, get some putty, fill that in, sand it off, and then stain that as, as well. Uh, let's see if I can get a little better angle maybe there. Just to show you how deep that's in there. It's kind of hard to tell. But there we go. That looks better. But uh, let me undo this real quick. Just going to go ahead and take this off. Take off the washers. So, so you can kind of see that nice square in there now. So when I put that back in, that's going to hold that incredibly well compared to just this round circle. So what you have to do now is you have to tighten up each and every one of these on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and go back through and do that to each and every one of these. So once I drilled all those holes, I put the bolt through and uh, I put a washer on the very back of, uh, of this bearing, which is a skateboard bearing, by the way, and uh, one washer on the front of it. And then I put the bolt uh, onto the nut and tighten that up, just like I did on this one down here. And uh, it worked out just great. As you can see, it still rolls without any problem. Uh, all I had to do was kind of hold that washer in place while I was tightening up that nut. And you'll notice that, uh, you know, I have one row on the bottom and one row of these on the top for both of the, uh, of the drawers because, again, the weight of the batteries are 128 pounds. So I had to have enough rollers to accommodate that kind of weight. Well, <clears throat> I got those in there. And all tightened up. So it rolls in and out good now. 
any problems there. Same way on top. It's a little bit tighter, but rolls in and out really good. What I'll do now is fill in all these holes with wood putty. And uh, I'm going to set these up so that uh, no matter what size the battery is, you'll be able to tighten that down good. A couple of straps to hold that in. But sitting inside the trailer, inside of that other cupboard, that'll, that'll surely hold that entire thing. So I'll come back and cut all these off, each one of these, with a, uh, a cutter. And then I'll grind this down a little bit, so I won't have those bolts there. And I'll put in the remaining pieces of wood that need to be put in so that uh, I can strap the batteries down to both of these. I'm going to have to drill a hole down through this top one down into the bottom to get to the bottom one because i got to run the cables from one battery to the other. They'll be in uh, parallel. accomplish a little something different so this is a, a premium one here it says high performance wood filler and it's got a resin that comes with it that you mix in with it and uh, if you ever worked with fiberglass I mean this stuff smells just like uh, the resin that you use for fiberglass and when this stuff hardens I mean it is hard right some great stuff so I filled in all these holes and I'll end up sanding all this down and it only takes about 15 minutes for that to harden up. And I mean, it really hardens up. It even says that, uh, you know, it acts more like a paste even. So it is like a, uh, a glue, I guess you'd call it. I mean, that'll really help to, again, hold those bolts in place, even though you've got that nut on the other side. So all right, so I thought I'd kind of just walk around. You can see I've got all those cut off now. And... I've got these all sanded, so I hit that with a uh, 100 grit and then uh, 220. Now you will notice that these, they don't color, you know, like uh, like the other ones do, you know. So the stain, you know, they're going to be a little gray there. But that's okay because, again, this is literally inside of the cupboard. What's really nice about that stuff is that it holds tight. I mean, if you want something that uh, is going to prevent the heads of the uh, of those bolts from moving that stuff really really works well because it's like a bondu I mean it's incredible and very easy to sand as well so you can kind of see that came out really pretty nice uh, these all came out nice so had to grind all those down cut them off grind them down and this is the other side so you can see that uh, really came out really really nice really happy with the way you know it came out so now I'll do the slides I'll uh, sand those down stain those and then uh, take this over to the trailer and we'll make sure it fits in there so. <clears throat> all right so it's a nice day so I'm back down at the shop and uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and put the back portion on that's gonna help hold the battery so what I did was I used one of these type of drills and I drilled these holes so that I could countersink uh, these 8x2 screws. So these are the screws I'm using. They're 8x2 deck plus screws. They work great. Uh, should hold up seeing how this is going to be inside. And just to show you the depth of that, you can see where that hole is. Back this up a little bit. So that 
screw goes in about that far into the wood. So it gives it a lot, a lot of strength. Now I've already uh, put three in, one down here, one there, one there. Lift this up once so you can take a look at it. <coughs> so there it is. So that slides in and this is the back end. And the reason that's curved is because, well, the wall is curved. And I'm going to have another piece of wood up front here. And uh, that's going to bolt in to the two sides to prevent it from moving at all. And I'll show you how that works as I progress here. And then what I'm going to do is just put two uh, eye screws here, one here, one down here. And use straps that will come and hook on to the other piece of wood I have in front. And that will secure the battery so that it can't move up or down. I'll then have two other small pieces of wood that I'm not going to secure yet because I don't know exactly, you know, where they're going to fit as far as the battery goes to kind of center the battery. And I'll just screw those down because I'm able to pull this out when I go ahead and screw down those other two pieces. So, well, this is the piece of wood I found to use to make the, uh, the little front portion of those cupboards which is then going to have two bolts on it and, uh, and a handle. So that's all I could find, but uh, just an old piece of wood. So I'll fix that up and see how that looks once I'm done. All right, so uh, I'm back down at the shop. Kind of working away on this. Uh, that piece of wood you saw earlier, that uh, uh, two by six and then basically uh, had the white paint on it. Well, these two pieces here, this one here, and this one here, come from that piece. So the way this ends up working is, <coughs> uh, this here is gonna have a handle right here that you can just pull this drawer forward over on each one of these sides here and over here I'm going to have two locking mechanisms that go into this piece of wood and that will hold this in. And then on top of that, as you can see, this edge back here has been routed out. Now I've attached this one, so it's on there super solid. It's screwed uh, from the bottom and what ends up happening is this will go in here and then I got two little brackets that come to, this, to the ends, actually down here. And those brackets basically prevent that from going all the way to the back end. So you can kind of get an idea how that would work, right? So this will prevent it from, this should prevent it, I hope, from like hitting the wall. It's, it's a fairly sturdy piece of metal. And then on top of that, this is going to have the two locking mechanisms right into the wood, which is going to prevent that from moving back anyways so that extra back there is just a kind of an extra add-on piece and then i'll have an eye screw here one here one back here and one over here and those straps will come over top of the battery and hook onto here and hook onto the eye strap that'll keep the battery super tight to the wood and uh you actually would have to pull these out in order to get the battery in because from here to here let's see if I can get that so from the top of this piece of wood to there you actually wouldn't have enough uh, space to get the battery in so the only way to actually do that is to pull this out and then slip that battery in there and then slip it back in again And this will be on there, obviously tight. So, great little method, I think, just for keeping the batteries stored inside that cupboard. Uh, I don't have to worry ever about uh, any of those coasters breaking off of there or anything. I mean, those are like bolts going through there. So they can hold a lot of weight. So, should work pretty good. I'm going to go over and stick the cabinet itself 
Still got a little more work to do on those drawers, uh, putting in that metal piece in the back, that type of thing. So, should have that installed fairly quickly. I hope you got something out of this video today. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope I inspired you so that you can inspire others because that's what learning is all about. Inspiring others to learn so others can help themselves. This is the Beat Harvest Man, signing off for today.